I am getting worried for our little sister. The pizza sauce has run out. She's coughing. Is this like withdrawal? Memes aside. Is she like dying because of the pizza sauce? Because like, she hasn't really hit puberty. But do you think that maybe as her powers develops, it's somehow dependent on the pizza sauce in a really fucked up around way? Like no one probably thought the pizza sauce was important, like important. But every episode we have been mentioning pizza sauce, pizza sauce, family secret every time. And just as the pizza sauce runs out, she becomes sick. Don't you feel like there's some kind of coincidence here? Don't you feel like there's some kind of points to be made? Is she dependent on the pizza sauce, so we need to get more pizza sauce back for our sister to get better? I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Oh, no. You were gonna use that disgusting pizza sauce, weren't you? Dari, we're out of that, actually. What's going on, Degozaru? This is her middle school area, yeah? I've never seen the little sister in her middle school. Did she curse our little sister? What is this girl? Why is the camera going to her? Is this important girl? You proposed her last episode? I don't remember this girl. At all. This is the first time I'm seeing this is the first time I'm seeing any of these characters actually, because we've never seen from the perspective of our little sister's classroom just yet. Overlooked happiness is today's episode. Overlooked happiness. Who is happy always? Our little sister? Have we been overlooking it? Hmm. Norioku! It's him! Oh! oh collaborator! <laughs> this is the best one so far. Norioku. <laughs> Collapse? That, that is the best one so far. Last episode, it was a cut too quick, right? I guess they're trying to do different variants of me to collaborator coming in. Usually we lead in with collaborators coming. It's like, who? And then he does the thing. But like this one was like, no one called him. He just fucking busted the door open. <laughs> Walks up. No. Collapse. Okay. What collapses? Our little sister's collapsing? <laughs> I don't know. So, who could be the one with the power of collapse? Especially because it's our fucking dorms. There's way too many people. It's either our little sister, which probably isn't it. Maybe it's the girl that the cameraman was zooming into in the intro scene, or maybe it's the guy that confessed to our little sister. Right? It, it has. It can't be some random character. It's got to be something tied to our little sister, right? Okay. Our little sister! Collapse. Yeah, our little sister collapsed, all right. Siblings have power is more likely. Okay, that makes sense. We should have you sending come over. I don't trust you. And then and, and and then she could do her special power, right? She could do get better, 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 no more sicky, sicky, sicky. And, and and then if her powers is really truly true, if it's not bullshit, then her little sister will get better. You better fucking prove to me right now you can do this. Are you gonna push it? <laughs> what? I thought she was gonna stop that from happening. And then she, she just said, I'll oh, fuck it all. I'll throw him off the window myself. What the fuck? I know, but holy shit. Please, ambulance, show up. That might be one of the most out of context now scenes I've seen so far. What the fuck? Yeah, maybe he's dead, guys. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, Yusari. That's so sad. This is mom, right? This is the mom that the betrayed now, right? Yeah. L mom, worst mom. And is that why she's always so all over the place? 
after her mother sold her out to the scientist, she lost the ability to trust. You know how I keep saying how now is like, um, like I could never tell her personality. Sometimes she's like nonchalant and sometimes she's super aggro. Sometimes she's super cute. Sometimes she's very aloof, but most of the times independent. Her lack of ability to trust other people kind of creates this character where she compartmentalized so many different personas to just kind of put a mask on whenever she wants. I don't know. Maybe I'm overcooking. Maybe so I robust. Can. It's just so random at times that I just can't understand. But maybe that makes sense. You got no money. <laughs> yeah, student council is rich, right? Inoki mushrooms are actually really good. The texture, it's like very chewy. We need to buy like um, pizza sauce though. But the pizza sauce is secret. Are they super expensive? 2,500 yen for that. Is that pretty expensive compared to other items? That's like two times, you know, what he was trying to buy before. Wow. They put it in like a little gift bag? Not too expensive, but definitely overpriced for her cookies. Probably just for like gifts, right? Huh. So it's like konbenni culture in Japan. You got like top shelf cookie things that you could kind of put it in like a nice gift bag in case. It's like a very convenient uh, present, you know, gift. You come over to someone's place and here it is, you know? この部屋だ。妹とはお前の相当なファンだ。あいつは今熱で寝込んでいる。いや、ユニスビアゲバター。あれ、もしかしてユサリンみたいな流れでお願いしたいんだが。では。イロカラスケリナ。オッケー。じ
basically like the outcast in anime right the super fat you know neck beards is that like super into like that that's it's like dekosaru or like something dono right or and and then she also has something nano which is like a, a little sister thing to say her lingo it's all over the place <laughs> I still think we need to refill on that pizza sauce. Holy shit, they hit the entire jar. The type of enoki mushrooms that I'm thinking of don't come in these kind of jar. I guess this is like enoki mushroom paste because if you look at the, the cover, it's actually like, you know, like um, mushrooms, right? They're very thin with big head. <laughs> thin with the big head looks like a penis anyways it's very uh it's, it's very like uh, chewy the texture is fun but this is like in like a paste in a jar interesting mm -hmm. damn that sucks you gotta go to work at like 8 to 9 p.m night Oh。あら、like a couple. This is some couple activities. One does the dishes, the other dries it and puts it on the rack. What do you mean, bro? This is a date. This is fucking Angel spoils me next door. Angel or spoils me rotten next door. I forgot the fucking title. You, you know what I'm talking about. This shit happens all the fucking time in rom-coms. They are dating. They're in sync too, exactly. No, they're so in sync. What the fuck? She fell for it. I know. No. Holy shit. Is that her on stage right now? No, that's not to record. Stupid. She's fucking. She thought that that was actually you said it up. No, it's a little kid. Don't be mean to her. Don't be mean to her. She's a tiny little kid. She doesn't know any better. She probably thinks that you suddenly lives in this fucking box, bro. She's so adorable. Oh, fuck, dude. She looked pretty energized today, but I think that it might have been an act. Also, I just realized Takaji was alive after getting thrown out the window. 21 is Kiri Koldi. Kiri Koldi! Her powers are bullshit, bro. The temperature's not going down, bro. Not significantly. I think she's lying? I don't know. This, this seems like too good. Have you ever felt like this? I'll be bored out of my mind staying home not sick. I want to go to school. I... <laughs> I, I, I feel like... Oh... Another vacation? Let's fucking go. Fuck school, bro. I'm staying home forever. Some people might want to get out, but me, all I need is the fucking computer and the internet, bro. There is that chuny fantasy, though, of, like, being sick for a while. And, like, you know, you're, like, the main character of your fucking middle school or high school. <laughs> and then you come back after being sick. It's like, oh, my God, is that him? No way! Papa's back! Whoa! Are you finally better? Yeah, it was actually good. I was not. I was like, oh my god! The main character is back! <laughs> we were so bored! Where were you? <laughs> no one actually says that. No one, it's, but it's like a dream. <laughs> you might have like these delusions. <laughs> you thought, yeah, they're all fucking waiting for me. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> Alright, she snuck to school. That guard looks pissed off, too. This is for the pizza sauce! Revenge! 
because it ran out. <laughs> we, we, this is for the pizza sauce for vent. That's actually so cute. What do you mean? You're the one not getting enough pizza sauce. What are you doing? Yeah, you got thrown out the fucking window. Are you just fine with that? What does she do on day one? Yeah, and she and he has to potentially marry now in the future. Like, what the fuck, bro? What in the fuck? <laughs> We're like her fucking lap dogs. Yeah, we have to finish it. <gasps> uh oh. She snuck in. Is she getting cursed by her friend again? Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? What? Was that Tak? No. This is new characters. I've never seen. I thought this is Takaju in disguise for a second, but no, 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 no. New characters? Orange hair? Good work today. She's important. This kid is gonna be a fucking menace in about like five to six years. When he grows up, when he becomes like 16, 17. Oh fuck, he's gonna be actually EK man. Oh no. <laughs> this motherfucker. He's already too handsome and too smooth, bro. Imagine when he grows up a little bit more. What the fuck, dude? Why why is he so smooth? <laughs> Look at him. Ikemen! Rejected again. Oh, he did the pinch thing on the sleeve. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually. She's gonna be something special when she grows up, man. She's gonna be kind of like now, like, boom. Look how assertive she is, bro. <laughs> Damn! Wall bang. Second wind? This is like fourth wind, bro. Wait, is, is this a ship? Wait, isn't this the wall bank technique? Isn't this the actual ship? Wait, hold up. I don't know. Maybe in the future that could be the actual ship. No more. We're like climbing over to get to the middle school. There's some new limousine that showed up. Oh, there she is. She jealous, right? Yeah, the boy. Skill issue. Skill issue. Yo, Yandere. What the fuck? She got a box cutter? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Also, the, yeah, this, <laughs> you're right. The elementary school voice acting here is a little bit off. Like she sounds like an actually like schizo like Yandere high schooler. <laughs> but anyways, there's many different factions moving right now. We're climbing over the fence. There's some orange hair girl showing up too. No shot. Ayumi run. Oh. This is getting crazy. Actually, Yandere Simulator right now. This is, listen, you're gonna think I'm crazy. This is where you run at the stairs and while you have the high point and the high advantage, you kick that bitch down even if you get cut. cut. You gotta run and fucking do a drop, drop kick right now. Holy shit, it's too late. Somebody! Collapse, collapse! So she's the woman collapse! Whoa! This is insane! What did I think? That bitch fucking survived! How did you know? Who are you? How would you know? Where's her little sister though? There's no shot, she's dead, no shot. If she dies, this is getting so low. Cliffhanger! Holy shit. The episode was so dramatic and important. They cut out the regular ending and they're playing the fucking credits. Whenever this shit happens, whenever they start rolling the fucking credits, bro, <laughs> you know, like, this is like... So there's a couple things. When an anime, like, skips the opening, 
or when an anime just like ends credit and the credit roll falls like you know that's a fucking important episode and today's episode was fucking important holy shit so my guess was kind of wrong i thought that the collapse wasn't a literal collapse and it could be i don't know like collapse of her fucking health or some shit but she was basically jealous that Ayumi was getting confessed to by the boy. They were, I don't know if they were in love, but she had a crush on him. So she decided to do this and Ayumi's power collapsed. It activates whenever she's in complete danger. I don't know. This probably just like activated subconsciously, right? She probably didn't mean to do it, but out of desperation and panic, it's a man activated. She fell down pretty hard. I, you would have to be so fucking lucky to survive something like this, huh? Like look at all the fucking rumbles falling down. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know if she's gonna be all right. Now, on the other side, th that's pretty much it. I, I, there were some, like, other important characters coming from the limousine, right? The limousine had, like, important people coming out. So, like, I don't know if the orange hair girl is gonna be important to this. Why would she care? Why would she even show up? Was she anticipating collapse? I don't know. But we got another character here that's happening. This is the most hype charts have been so far. And that's it for me, if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.